Let the weaving vlogs day five, five commence. Welcome to our house. <laughs> <laughs> My best friend Kane is moving in with me and in today's vlog, we're tackling the kitchen because it's pretty gross. been in a little bit of a rut so welcome to my sad girl kitchen we're gonna organize her today and plus now that we have vegetarian king here we need to make some more space because it looks like i've got such a big fridge but the fridge space is actually nothing so i don't know where king's gonna fit all of his vegetarian ish you know what i would like a shelf there's no shelf no let me show you guys all of the damage because it looks clean and tidy it's actually a massive mess here is the pantry Oh, fridge. Honestly, there's probably just old ish in here that needs to go. Freezer is honestly not too bad. Ooh, a little bit of vodka. This is where it gets really gross. We have this random rusty knife drawer. The spice drawer, which is just, I tried. I tried, guys. I don't know. The whole thing, it all needs a little bit of work. So, I don't even know what's happening over here, but Kane is like growing a sweet potato. I bought a bunch of organizers that are over here and I wanna see if they fit and they work. I did measure the fridge, but I didn't do it properly. And then we'll go grocery shopping and then get organizing. I just realized Kane lives here now, so I have to feel guilty to ask him to help me do things. Banana in the fridge. It's literally too hard to put the bananas anywhere else. Where else do they belong? They belong in the fridge. When you buy spinach because you tell yourself you're gonna eat healthy and you never eat it. Ever. Never, ever, ever. Can anyone else relate? Here is the damage. I can already tell that there's so much stuff that just needs to go. For instance, this cheese has been open in my fridge for literally the last like three weeks. And I think it says on there that it lasts two days. Same with this cheese. Apparently I'm just an old cheese hoarder. Got it. <laughs> the fridge is cleaned out. Kane is currently working on cleaning all of the inside the door shelves. There is this TikTok of a person putting their sauces into their produce drawer. Y'all, the produce drawer is where the produce goes to die. If I put anything in that drawer, I will literally never use it. It will be opened in a month and I will realize that everything is moldy and gross and bad. But if I put it on the shelves, which I know it doesn't last as long, I actually eat it. Definitely worth it. And plus, I'm the condiment sauce queen. So if I want something from this drawer, I will go looking for it. But let's be real, I ain't going looking for vegetables. Condiment drawer, back in the fridge. I just wanna see Okay, we just got to the grocery store. I'm actually a little bit scared. I feel like this is the first time we've properly grocery shopped together since three years ago. <laughs> and I feel like it's gonna be expensive. We'll see. We made it. Not me buying all the produce and Kane being like, never done that before in my whole life. Guys, one thing I'm super proud of is I forced myself to like tomatoes. So. Oh, Sarah in a favorite section, the cheese section. <laughs> Vegetarian section and the green ones are chicken Kievs. They're actually super good. Oh my God, pal, they have sweet chili tenders as well. Just a couple, nothing crazy. Y'all, these tiny little wraps are the best. Just like we anticipated, going shopping with Kane is so bad. He's literally telling me, oh, you should try this. Oh, you should try this. Do you want to buy one of them? <laughs> no, I'm trying to save my money. <laughs> Sarah literally stocking up on a lifetime supply of oat milk. She's buying three packs of these sparkling waters. For the fridge aesthetic. <laughs> Pretty much couldn't have got anything else. We're done. I'm scared about how much it's gonna cost. When I normally go get groceries, it does not cost $250, but it's fine. We got stuff forever. Hi -ho. So we're gonna go get some food and then start organizing. We got burrito bowls. I feel like burrito bowls is like my self-care. I've kind of been wondering if people can notice in videos and I did mention it in a video the other day. Your girl has just been like in a rut. I used to be such a yes person if someone would ask me to like go out and do things like go to the beach and recently I've just been like so uncomfortable outside of like my home bubble. I've kind of like set up all of these hurdles like even just going to the grocery store just then. So for instance this kitchen has been like a long time coming. I truly haven't felt like this since high school 
school. I ended up getting therapy in high school, but I did want to say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I think the first time that I heard about BetterHelp was at the start of the pandemic, but it kind of just like took the months and months and months of things building up on me to realize that maybe I should reconsider going to therapy again. With BetterHelp, you can talk to your therapist in the comfort of your own home, and it's so easy to sign up. And BetterHelp will assess your needs, ask you a couple of questions, and then match you with a licensed therapist that you can start talking to within 48 hours. You can just log in and message your therapist at any time of the day and get a timely response. But you can still make weekly phone or video appointments with your therapist. And it's really cool because you don't have to spend time waiting in the waiting room like traditional therapy. They have over 20,000 different therapists in their network with a broad range of expertise. So you can kind of be matched with someone that specializes in something that you might be dealing with, which you might not normally be able to find locally. It is available to clients worldwide and it's also just more affordable than traditional therapy. They also do have financial aid available too. But BetterHelp wants you to start living your happy life today. So you guys can visit betterhelp.com slash bets. That's better, H-E-L-P. And you can join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with experienced professionals. And they also gave me 10% off of my followers. So you guys just visit betterhelp.com slash bets. And speaking of doing things for ourselves, I'm going to eat this because I'm starving. And then I'm going to deal with this hurdle that I've been putting off for months. Let's eat. <laughs> I don't really care if this sounds stupid. There is something way more exciting about getting new groceries when you know your fridge is gonna be super organized. YouTuber fridge essentials. It's for the aesthetics, basically. The last three items, definitely essentials. Looking at this now, I'm now wondering if we got too excited and if this is even going to fit. That's fine. Here is a little grocery haul. I got these pizza doughs. My boyfriend loves to make pizza. I don't know if you guys follow that Emily girl on TikTok. She always eats seaweed with her like salmon and rice, which made me crave seaweed. We got zucchini, we got strawberries, tomatoes, broccolini, heaps of spices because I want to go through and do my spice straw. We have some fake bacon. These are so delicious. And then some fake schnitzels. And then for my boyfriend and I, I got some chicken breasts and some just beef to make meatballs. Loads of oat milk and these, which are called fava beans. And I actually hadn't heard about these until like a year ago, but they're pretty tasty. They kind of remind me of like nuts slash chickpea snacks. My current obsession is corn thins with peanut butter or almond butter and banana slices. We got the bananas and just heaps more goods, honestly. I have a ton of containers just here. I'm just gonna put them where I want them in the fridge and then fill them all up because I don't want everything getting all hot out on the bench. I really thought I was gonna have to go back to the container store to get more. Three months ago, Sarah, she knew what she was doing. Except for just here because this is not fitting. This drawer, I kind of thought was the same width as the ones above, but apparently not. So maybe we'll just go down here, maybe. I got these glass jars. I bought a bunch of them and I started using some of them. And I already smashed one the other day. I'm thinking that the top shelf can be like eggs and dairy and then drinks. And then I'm probably gonna do produce just here because if it's like in the middle, it's easy for me to see and hopefully I will eat healthy. Kane's gonna have this bin just here and then we're gonna do leftovers in these small containers. And then my boyfriend and I will have this shelf. And then of course, a little rosé shelf. Didn't hurt nobody. I'm gonna start organizing all of the like essential shelves of stuff that is like getting warm out here, like the meat. While this may be slightly controversial, I do not wash my produce until I'm about to eat it because I feel like I can't dry it off properly and then it gets like soggy and goes bad really quickly. So storing my strawberries in an airtight container always makes them last a little longer. As long as I didn't wash them because otherwise they just go through the moldy. <laughs> Okay, only saying this because I know my grandma isn't watching this video, but I always thought it was very cool how she had like a cheese basket in her fridge. So, I'm doing it. I got some parmesan and then just regular cheese. And then I got these two just here, which is brie cheese. And it's my freaking favorite. Now that I've seen my actual cheese drawer, it's definitely not as bougie as my grandma's, but baby steps. Oh wait, I just realized that I have two more cheeses. Ooh. Wait, I'm doing a very bad job at this. Oh my God, it all fit. I'm way too excited that this fit. <laughs> 
Honestly, this is probably slightly more produce than I normally have. They're pretty packed. I feel like we're gonna have to have some soup because this is heaps. Honestly, interest whenever I have too much produce and I don't know what to do with it, I always make soup, but I always make super vegetable soup and force Kane to eat it as well because he's not a veggie king like me. <laughs> the vegetarian ate a veggie king. Literally, Kane's just eating like the most junk foody, junk food, vegetarian food. I love potatoes, they count. As Literally potatoes. like a cheeseburger just without the meat in it. <laughs> Seriously, that's what he gets at McDonald's. Oh, this is actually heavy. Ugh. I'm gonna try and be so satisfying. Are you ready? I just wanna see you, wanna be with you. Right? I'm pretty sure that the only thing left is whatever YouTube does, the drink section. What about oh. the donuts, pal? I am eating healthy. I've eaten half of one of these. Okay. We won't put them in the fridge and I'll just eat them. <laughs> okay, I know I've made a lot of jokes about the drinks part of the fridge. I honestly do drink soda water. I already have this box that is nearly finished. Not like any old soda water. We're not trying to just drink stuff that tastes like TV static. We have to get like the yummy flavors and stuff. Something that goes well with vodka. <laughs> That may be a pro to having soda water in the fridge <laughs> and vodka in the freezer. <laughs> which one's your favorite? Actually, probably the passion fruit one, which is the empty one. The, the one you didn't get. Yeah, the one that I didn't get. I think that the passion fruit is Tim's least favorite, so that's why I didn't get it. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I got it last time. Lime, I think, is Tim's favorite color. His favorite what? His favorite flavor. I'm delusional. There's definitely gonna be a part two to this video because there's no way I can keep going for too much longer. Does almond spread go in the fridge? Doesn't it? Oh shit, it does. It says store in a cool, dry place. <laughs> oh, pow. You've ruined it. It's already cold. <laughs> I just wanna see you, wanna be with you. I'm so happy right now. Wow. Look at her. Here is the fridge reveal. Topper, we just have cheese, dairy, eggs, and then we have drinks. Then we have some produce, which I think this could do with a little work. I know you can get little dividers to put in these bins, so maybe I'll get those. And then we have Kane's little basket, and then this is just like a little bit more produce. Sometimes this might be leftovers. And then Tim and I have a basket. Rose. Then I've got my sauce shell. In the bottom drawer, I just decided that, that one's gonna be for leftovers, and I feel like that works really well. And then I just have some random stuff on the inside, like some waters and some oat milk and I'm pretty happy with that. But over here, I have a bunch more organizers that I picked up from the storage shop. Just some plates and stuff. I also got a bunch of containers to put my spices in for my spice drawer. Honestly, I think I'm gonna do a part two. I wanna do my spice drawer, do the pantry. I kind of wanna go to Costco in a few weeks. Maybe I'll film that in a completely different video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next one. Wait, hit subscribe if you guys haven't already. Okay, bye.